Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In today's class, we want to find the value of a from this given exponential equation. We have 8 raised to power a plus 2 raised to power a is equal to 130. But before we proceed, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you. Solution. We have the given equation 8 raised to the power a plus 2 raised to the power a is equal to 130. Then 8 raised to the power a can be expressed as 2 raised to the power 3 raised to the power a plus 2 raised to the power a is equal to 130. Remember, if you have s raised to power n raised to power of m is the same thing as s raised to power n m which is equal to what s raised to power m raised to power of n then this one become 2 raised to power a raised to power 3 plus 2 raised to power a is equal to 130 Now from here, what do we do? We have 2 raised to power a cube, then plus 2 raised to power a is equal to 130. Then we have 2 raised to power a cube plus 2 raised to power a. Then if this plus 130 cross equal side become minus 130 is equal to 0. We've equated it to zero. That is two raised to power a q plus two raised to power a. Then if this plus one thirty crosses equal sign, it becomes minus one thirty. Then equal to zero. Let two raised to power a is equal to t. There we have t q plus t minus one thirty equal to zero now let's see 130 is the same thing as 130 is equal to 26 times 5 then we work on 26 then we we'll look for and the coefficient of t here is what one then we can write this 26 as minus 25 t plus 26 t then you are going to get t we're going to get this t back now let's replace t by this value we have t cube minus 25 t plus 26 t minus 130 is equal to zero this does not formally change the equation because minus 25t plus 26t is going to give you the same t. Now let's factorize. We have t into t square minus 25 plus 26 into t minus 5 equal to 0. Then we have t into t square minus 25 plus 26 into t minus 5 equal to 0. Then we have t into t square minus 5 square plus 26 into t minus 5 equal to 0. Now this is different of 2 square. If you have a square minus b square is same thing as a plus b multiply by a minus b then our equation become t into t min plus 5 multiply by t minus 5 plus 26 into t minus 5 equal to 0. Now here we have t minus 5 
and here we have t minus 5. We have t minus 5, then into, here is t into what? t plus 5 plus 26 equal to 0. Then we have t minus 5 into t times t. We have t squared plus t times 5. 5t then plus 26 equal to 0. Now, t minus 5 equal to 0 or t squared plus 5t plus 26 is equal to 0. Now from here, we have t minus 5 equal to 0. Therefore, t is equal to what? 5. That is one of the value of t. Now, from here, this is a quadratic equation. We have t squared plus 5t plus 26 is equal to 0. Let's solve using quadratic general formula. We know that s is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac over 2a. Therefore, our t is same thing as minus b plus or minus square root of what? b square minus 4ac divided by 2a. And from this equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to what? 5, and c is equal to 26. Then let's substitute. We have t is equal to minus 5 plus or minus square root of 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 26 divided by 2 multiplied by 1. Then remember our discriminant is b square minus 4ac then which is equal to what? 5 square minus 4 multiplied by 1 multiplied by 26. Then 5 square is what? 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4 times 26. 104. Then our discriminant is equal to what? Minus 79, which is less than 0. Then we reject this. The only true value of t is the only true value of t is t equal to what? 5. Now, remember that we said 2 raised to power a is equal to what? t. And t is equal to 5. We have 2 raised to power a is equal to what? 5. Let's take the log of both sides. We have log 2 raised to power a is equal to log 5. Now we have a log 2 is equal to log 5. Now let's divide both sides by log 2. We have a log 2 divided by log 2 is equal to log 5 divided by log 2. Then this one will cancel this. Our final answer is A is equal to log 5 divided by log 2. That is our final answer. If you have enjoyed the class, please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.